Welcome back. I hope everybody is doing well. Sorry it's been a while since the video has come out, but, um, well, lockdown restrictions have been eased and I've been busy. Plus, YouTube keeps censoring the ones that I do put out. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, why are we here? Well, woke up this morning, obviously, and, uh, Saw the news that, uh, I believe it's actually yesterday's news, but again, I've been busy. Weightlifter Laura Hubbard will be the first trans athlete to compete at the Olympics. Um, yeah. I mean, nah. What the fuck is going on with society? She's a man. She was born a man. She's 43 years old. What I'd like to know is how she would do in the men's category because I'm guessing it's pretty fucking badly and you see the people that support this stuff and they're like they're, what makes me laugh is that anybody that tries to support women and say hang on a minute this isn't fucking fair just get told often by other women well they just need to work harder you know it's all's fair in love war and sport it's like it's really not that's why do you think we have different weights for boxing why do you think we have different categories for men and women why have we always had that what just was it patriarchy or was it actually to give platform women to compete fairly is that why we've done it i think it probably is now you want to take that away now the, the whole thing with this right is if you want to talk about social justice and white men operating in spaces where women and people of color specifically women of colour, should be, because they're the most oppressed people in society, apparently, right? Literally one of the best ways for women of colour to achieve success is through sport. That's quite clear. And they love it. You know, why wouldn't everyone sort of wants to be a sports star when they're growing up, didn't they? You know, a lot, or at least a lot of people who wouldn't want to be a Wimbledon tennis champion who wouldn't want to be an athletics runner for your country who wouldn't want to play football or whatever sport for your country if you're getting well paid for it and you love doing it then you're winning in life even if you know like the England team you're not actually winning that often but that is besides the point you have a very good lifestyle if you manage to make it as a professional athlete in some way shape or form that's undeniable However, women of colour who have historically and currently been very successful in these areas will be gradually pushed to one side by white men who think they're women. So if you want to talk about racism and the patriarchy and social injustices, find me a bigger social injustice than putting women out of their areas and replacing them with men. I mean, am I insane and the world is normal? Because I'm starting to question it. What the fuck is going on? Whilst we're talking about hypocrisy, you have had this big thing about putting the um, rainbow flag on the Munich stadium, which can light up in colors, as a sign of unity against hate because apparently, I don't know, but some hungry fans were charting homophobic slurs. Now, that, if that's true, that's unacceptable and you need to deal with those fans, right? But don't be lighting up the whole thing in rainbow colours to show your unity against homosexuality when you've got the World Cup in Qatar in two years. You sold your fucking souls and your social justice bullshit when you sold that World Cup to Qatar where they have terrible human rights records and they literally kill gay people. But you think lighting up a stadium will sort homophobia out? I mean, along with all the bullshit rules with COVID, looking at the Euros again, I think every time I look up to the sky, to the elites, to the people making these decisions which affect our lives and will affect the future of society and culture, it's just dark clouds and they only get darker and nothing makes any fucking sense. 
I won't go too much into the matter of the big C word because, like I say, I'd like this video to stay up. But it makes no sense that you can have 60,000 fans in Wembley and people can't go and watch their kid at sports day. Us and them. Yeah, you've got all these people at Ascot, all the snobs, not social distancing, not wearing, wearing masks, just looking like it's any other year. But, again, we have one kid test positive for COVID and there's a whole class being shut down. Whole families are having to isolate and put their lives on hold. I know this because it's affected myself with my football coaching, with my coaches and my players and I just see the madness of it all. And yet the G7, again, the queen, the most important woman in the world, arguably, and 95 years old, deadly pandemic, can meet leaders and people from all over the globe. But yeah, my mate who's double jabbed, his kid has COVID, and he now has to isolate for 10 days. He's a damn sight younger than, younger than the Queen and worth a damn sight less money. So, it doesn't make any sense. If it's that dangerous for even vaccinated people to mingle, then how comes we're throwing the Queen in there? You wouldn't, would you? Anyway, this what it's got a bit of a rant. So, it's bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. I really should write a proper video for you guys, so we'll do soon. I might do a review of the first six months of the year. I might be busy. I'll do what I can for you. Um, it's my birthday coming up and stuff, so I might have social plans, and I am working on another project. But, Hopefully in the next two weeks, I'll bring you something. So thank you for your support if you are still subscribing and you are still watching my videos. I know I don't upload regularly or with a schedule and there's different types of video that come out sometimes, but thanks for sticking by us. And if it's your first time here, then drop a like, drop a, drop a subscribe if you like seeing me rant into a fucking camera. Then do that. You know the score. But as I say, thanks for being here. Go out, enjoy the sunshine. It's sunny today. June's coming back. Good stuff. So go outside, enjoy it, get your vitamin D, and uh, yeah, until next time. Mm -hmm.